Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Bee and the Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. And I wanted to take you guys on a July, it's the 28th of July, <laughs> garden tour. Um, we're actually going to do a orchard, backyard orchard tour today. So anyways, I just wanted to show you the trees, show you how big they're getting, and some of them um, have fruit on them, so I'll go ahead and show them to you. So get ready, here we go. All right, here is one of our cherry trees. It's growing big, getting ready for next year. As you know from earlier videos, we didn't get any cherries from it this year, but it's only about a year and a half old, and I guess it takes a couple years for cherries to come in. So hopefully next year, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We did get a few blossoms on it this year, um, and there was a little cherry, but it fell off, and that's okay. This is our plum tree, and if you saw the video from last month, you know that we harvested um, some plums, and they were delicious, really great. Um, not as many as this plum tree over here, and we'll talk about that one in just a little bit, but yeah, this one was great. Now we're moving on to the fig, and it's finally fig season! So we have some figs on here that are about ready to be picked. They feel pretty good. We have to pick them um, because the birds will eat them. <laughs> and so I try to be on top of it and get them before the birds get them. But yeah, this is our mission fig and they're doing really good. This is one of John's favorites. He loves figs. He never thought that he would like figs <laughs> until he tried them. Um, and he was like, wow, I missed out all these years. I should have been eating them. And here is our mandarin tree. And as you can see, the mandarins are getting bigger, a lot bigger than they were last month with my last video. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, our blood orange tree is getting bigger. It does have one little fruit on it, but it's pretty hard and I don't think it's growing anymore. <laughs> but we're excited. I'm going to come through and cut off some of these leaves that are um, damaged and so that we can have a healthier tree. This is our lime tree. It's looking really good. It's getting, it's getting really tall. I think this year is just a growing year for the, for the citrus trees. But here are two limes and then there's another one in there. I saw it the other day. So that'll be interesting with the pokies on the line trying to get it out. <laughs> here is our grapefruit tree. And as you can see, we have two grapefruits, this large one right here, and then this one right here. Um, this tree had damaged leaves. And so I went through and cut them off. And then now look at all these beautiful young leaves that it has on there. So that's what I'm going to do with the orange tree as well. And maybe the lime tree because it has some damaged leaves too. Here is our lemon tree. <laughs> this lemon tree has been through so much with the puppies. They kind of like totally destroyed it. And we weren't sure if it was gonna come back, but it is, it's growing. And um, like with the grapefruit tree, I need to cut off these leaves so it can grow some new ones. And here is the two lemons. They're getting big. They're starting to turn yellow. So that's fun. I'm excited. I'm glad it's growing and <laughs> doing well. <gasps> the pomegranate tree. This is definitely my favorite. Look at this giant pomegranate in here. Um, I love pomegranates and I'm super excited about all the fruit that's on here. And I'm just praying that God will let it grow and get big and be ready to harvest at the end of September, beginning of October and there's some new blossoms on there which is fun and some new baby fruit we'll see if it stays on but I love pomegranate blossoms I just think that they're so beautiful and I just love pomegranates and here's Marshy say hi Marshy and there's hey hey over there hazel bee and marshmallow AKA Marshy. <laughs> All right, this is our plum tree and um, our candy heart 
plum. It's a cross with a plum and a cherry. And we got so much fruit from it this year and we were so surprised. Um, and it's so sweet. They're just like candy, like in the name applies, implies it. It's like candy. <laughs> and so we were really excited about all the plums we got from this tree. It was amazing. And we're hoping next year it does just as well. And then here is our other cherry tree. I noticed that some of the leaves here are getting crunchy and I don't know if that's like sun damage. It's been extremely hot here. I mean, not anything out of the normal. It usually is pretty warm here in the summer, especially in July and August. And so I might just come through and pick off all these leaves that are dead. Um, today, we've had 17 days consecutive days over 100 and today will be day 18 and it looks like the 10 day forecast is all hundreds as well so we'll be over 20 soon so that's all of our fruit trees um that you know there is three in the fairy gnome garden as well that i went over earlier this month but thanks for joining me and I think I'm gonna do another video in the main which is such a mess <laughs> so check out that or wait for that video probably to be hit tomorrow and have a fabulous Thursday oh and today is the bear's birthday John's birthday today he's turning 42 so if you know him make sure you uh, tell him happy birthday and we'll see you guys later bye